progress. Hey guys, Bryce here. So today we're going to talk about the LinkedIn checklist we're utilizing for all of our students. Um, I had a number of students that kind of asked me, hey Bryce, can you make like a daily checklist that I should just be going through in order to make sure that I'm hitting all my numbers, I'm going to be having the best possible chance for success. So I decided to do that. Now, some of the stuff that are going to be inside of this are going to be inside the resources section inside of your training portal. Um, so go to the resources section if you don't have some of the things that I'm talking about. Um, let's jump into this video and attack. So number one, I'm going to be doing this in a couple different ways. So I'm going to be going set up. I'm going to have monthly tasks. I'm also going to have daily tasks. Cool. So the formatting sometimes off when it comes to making this, but by the time you see it inside of your training portal, you should have like the full um, document as well. It's going to be make looking a little bit prettier. Um, so number one, let's get it going. So is your pro is your profile fully optimized? Okay, so this is very important. Um, inside of the homework document, inside like the um, starter um, section, you're going to see. Cool, profile optimized. You're going to go and see like how to optimize, like what should be saying in your tagline, what should be saying inside your about section, what should be saying inside your experience section. So you should have it inside of there. Um, tagline about section experiences. Uh, profile templates selected. So this is if you're looking inside of like the quick start guide when it comes to marketing, there's different profile templates and different ways like to set up our LinkedIn account. Um, so you can choose which one you want to do. Next, you want to have like the tagline completed um, using one of the templates. Next, you want the about section completed from one of the templates. And after that, you want your experience section filled out. Um, most people do not have this thing um, done. They always get the experience section incorrect. Is my experience section for my business as detailed as possible? Okay, cool. Next is going to be monthly. So monthly one is not as big or not as like... Uh, it's not as big because it is a little bit simpler to do it on a monthly basis. So first things first, I'm going to have monthly. Have you cleared out excess connection requests? You to keep that to about 500 outstanding. Cool. So this just means like inside of LinkedIn, they have a connection with us that are outstanding. You have too many that are outstanding that it says, hey, you need to go and like um, make better use of your existing um, network in order to be able to send out more connection requests. Just make sure you have a good a good kind of like um, feel for that. Next thing is going to be holiday campaigns. Have you filled... A reminder of your spark pain. Cool, cool. Um, have you looked through the message scripts? You know which like which has a pretty big holiday. We had um in America's Fourth of July is Independence Day, so we had a pretty good number of students who get some good sized clients from that um Fourth of July holiday campaign. So there's like a very specific way you need to go about doing it um in order to make a move. So let's go here. So first things first, when it comes to this, it's going to be, did you confirm 
appointments with all potential clients Craig, that just means, like, did you actually confirm with the people who have booked a call? Like, if you have calls, one of the more annoying things when you're first getting started is you only have, like, three, five calls per week on the calendar. If four of them don't show up because they just forgot about the appointment, that means all of your hard work has been kind of put to, to waste. You have to go and, like, follow up with them, get them back on the, on the phone, which is not the end of the world. But we want to prevent, like, anything, you know, that could happen negative from happening. So in order to do that, just confirm your appointment. I'm utilizing the script. Scripts. Um, right. Okay. Next, follow up with any conversations where with any potential clients. This is called clearing the black. That's a term um, I learned that a number of years ago. It just basically means like most social media, just most inbox in general, generally gets bold, black on um, bold. Um, anytime they're like a message is outstanding. So you just got to clear the black by just getting rid of the black by responding and following up to as many of them as possible. Um, next thing I'm going to go start communicating with people at closest stage yeah. thirty is an ideal. Let's say 30 or about 50. Ideally, you want to do 50. Um, if you can't do more than 50, just because like your account just doesn't allow it, that's okay too. Um, 50 is 50 might sound like a lot, but it's like you're trying to grow your business. It's like you can either do it like a sniper rifle or you can do it more of like a um, casting a wider net and then just having like more people following up with you over time. Just depend on your style, depend on your strategy, which one you chose to do inside the program. Um, so get stop 50 cap requests per day. Um, search As people view my profile share, let's go LinkedIn. Let's see. So this might not be bad. Let me see if I can find the other one. If you do profile. Okay, most of the people have viewed your profile. That's a key thing. So in the past 90 days, this particular LinkedIn account has been 896. So 
So it's like, uh, so it's like LinkedIn's going a little bit lower this day. Hmm. Open profiles. Um, connect if you're not. Strands in this. Already. To slash with. The. Cool. Um, let's read that one for there. Oops. Um, if if you are posting content, look through notification. See who liked. Nature support. Cool, cool. So that should work. End of day, Phil. And four. What happened? Someone suddenly have my messaging. So I got a message from one of my uh, sales team. And the day fill in the core four with the new leads. Um, the new leads or updates. New leads. So the um, four stage using the four stage uh, follow up approach. Cool. Cool. That's one, let me see. But should be under your pay plan. Make it um let me look for one specific thing. There's one more thing that I just want to make sure I didn't forget on this daily tasks. Yeah. 
ideally right one to two people okay. Let me see one more thing. Yeah. For every hundred new. One um, CTA or a um, for a resource as a question or um, was it the as a question or do a poll. Well, this is the beginner LinkedIn um, template. I'm going to be updating that a little bit more um, over time. This is like the base level just beginner LinkedIn um, checklist. LinkedIn checklist. Monthly, weekly, daily. Cool. If you want this document, go ahead and, and comment inside of the video below, and I'll send it to you if you don't already have it inside of the training um, modules. Um, I will talk to you soon.